they are abstract. This three dimensions. Yeah, yeah that's abstract. How do I make those abstractions of the So the average person can put his hands on Yeah, but it's um, this is more a mathematical thing, right? I mean this is what the this is what the scientists use to do. You know? Let's turn those mathematics. Give me a, a physical example of okay, here. Here's a fractal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can get these nice pictures here. For example, when I was interacting with the Russians in 2000, that was the first, uh, they kept talking about spinners. Okay, and if you put a spinner in my hand, what am I holding? You couldn't answer the question. Now, a spinner is a, is a physicist shorthand mathematics to reduce tensors. But sooner or later, somebody's going to say, tell me, what is this physically that I have in my hand? So I can put my feelings around. Now, when we talk about the field equations, we talk about mass energy tensor. Okay, I can understand mass. I can understand energy. I can understand tensor. Okay, great. Now you start talking negative mass, negative pressure. What the hell are you talking about? Now the only definition I heard that was really good of negative pressure was the Casimir experiment. Negative pressure is sucking. So I'm pushing the pillows together. Together. Okay. I can, I can absorb that. But I'm not saying this because we're ignorant as scientists or engineers. But we have to explain these concepts to Joe Average and fund these ideas. Hey look, I'm a little art major. I mean, you are I you're study a Picasso and you're going to tell me about going to the moon? And you're going to do this by blinking your eyes in one worm and then one eye out the other on the moon? How do you do this? Well, if you can't tell this guy what a wormhole is, he ain't gonna find it because these people can understand it. So you had to talk about force equations in terms of foot. How do you do that? Well, when a guy tackles you, he's got a certain mass and a certain acceleration, and that gives you a force. I mean, that's how you had to talk to people. We as engineers and scientists have got to do the same thing. We've got to open up our bounds of what we think about and explain them in simpler terms. You know, maybe that was the, the value that somebody like Carl Sagan had because of those TV shows. And that's what's got to be done. We, we can't make science and technology something that's foreign, that scares kids. For example, I, I gladly admit I'm computer literate. Now, I put my son on my machine. There's your problem. So how the hell did you do that? Why don't you do it slow so I can learn? No, no, I, I just got it. You take these kids with the video games. You never see an old person be a kid in a video game. Because they, they've got this different way of looking at it. <coughs> so what we've got to do is make science use it further. Let me get to some breakfast. See you guys later. Sure. Okay.